Alrighty, gang, we're going to graph the Van Toff equation using a common exam problem or, or lab problem, assignment problem that comes up. Uh, this is it right here. Given the following data, determine the standard change in enthalpy. Enthalpy is H, and this little superscript means it's under standard state, constant pressure of one bar for the reaction, and this is our reaction right here. And we're given equilibrium constant values at various temperatures in units of Kelvin. So the Van Toff equation in the form that we're going to use is this form right here. And I've derived this in many different ways, this equation. You can check those videos out if you like. But this is the form we'll use. And it might look complicated, but it's very similar to a straight line, y equals mx plus b, where y is our ln k. Our slope m is everything in the brackets here. And our x is 1 over t. And then this is our y-intercept right here. So if we plot ln k versus 1 over t, we'd expect a straight line if it behaves according to the Van Toff equation. And I plotted these values in Excel. I took ln of k of each of these, and then 1 divided by t, and plotted that. And indeed, it was a straight line. <laughs> and I took a trend line in Excel, and that gave us y equals this number times x minus this number. Although I know that y is ln k, because that's the equation I'm comparing it to, and the x is 1 over t. So this is the slope. This is what we care about. The slope has units of Kelvin, and I know that because ln k is unitless. Now, we want the standard change in enthalpy, so we'll multiply both sides by r and by negative 1 to get this right here. Kelvin cancels out, and we're left with a value of negative 1.15 times 10 to the 5 joules per mole. We usually report these in kilojoules per mole. There we are. Uh, it's negative, which means it's exothermic, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Right on, y'all. Hang in there. I know thermal is not an easy subject, but the more problems you do, the better you'll get. Best of luck to you. Good luck on your midterms, final exams, and to see you in the next video. You will survive. Cheers.